Right. Anyway. Yeah, I feel like this is how the cable car got up here, and this is what they used to get out. Maybe. Ephemeral station platform. Yeah. Ephemeral, a word very much you would use to describe something that is always going to be there and is very definitely not ghosts playing tricks on you again. <laughs> no aerial ghost battle while stuck in the cable car? I'm, I'm actually a little surprised we didn't get something like that. I mean, two of them jumped us just waiting at the station. Uh, do I want to... There's stuff in here. Hang on a second. Right. Want to be sure I'm not missing anything before I go down there. <laughs> yes! Ooh, that was a close one, too. That thing clipped through me. <laughs> Just call that a uh, smooth handover. Ha <laughs> ha! This is suspiciously generous. Now I'm a little. Now I'm a little worried. Documents from rusty shells have been scattered about. They seem to be controls and maintenance, but they're far too technical for me to understand. Alright. 14 film, yes. Actually, now that I think about it, because the game starts you with... Okay, so it didn't take away my magnum film. I think the idea is that the starting... The things you can buy at the start of the... At the start of the chapter are added to whatever your inventory was and not necessarily that's what your starting inventory was. I could be mistaken, but that's kind of the impression I get. Okay. Nothing new. Uh, anything else? No. But yeah, it's kind of interesting seeing a game it's seeing a Fatal Frame game that lets you get out into the world and see more of... more of the environment surrounding the obviously haunted houses. And it gives more of a sense that... gives more of a sense that this is something that follows you wherever you go. That just getting outside to relative safety doesn't protect you because these things are going to follow you. And that's kind of the impression I get with the story, too. That no matter how, how much space the characters put between them and the experiences they have there's a part of their past that just won't go away, and all they can do is turn around and face it. Anyway, uh... To the Shrine of the Ephemeral. Okay, okay, never mind, I... I... So, the Ephemeral is the location we're going to. So, it makes sense to name the station after it. I rescind my comment. But only for the moment. I'm positive we're going to find out that, like, the whole mountain is just ghosts. Or something really big like that. So we made a house disappear, all bets are off. Okay, I'm gonna go on a limb and guess, yep, the ghost is following the obvious stone lantern pathway. So, let's look around. Alright, careful, Yuri. <laughs> yeah, the ephemeral is such an encouraging name for the place. Okay, the, there's a concerning level of mist in these woods. 
need to go and look for Miu. Okay, so that's a place we'll go to later, but not now. Actually, is there... Okay, yeah, that's... Okay, so we do have this. See, I'm wondering if this lets us... Okay, now that just goes between the maps and such. Because, yeah, they, they give us this, and we can, like, jump around it at any time, so I'm wondering if at some point we'll be able to go between multiple locations and such. It doesn't seem like that kind of game, but, yeah, the, the way this is... the way this map interface looks like, it kind of gives me that impression. Yeah, the, the the ephemeral shrine is uh it's not worse than the unfathomable forest. But it is not helping it is not helping the sense of dread. And yeah, again, we're seeing areas that we're obviously going to revisit. Hey, rocket launcher film. I stopped right near the end of this shrine trip. There's another silly puzzle. Oh boy. I shall brace myself accordingly. All right, there's Mew. <laughs> Thanks, Mirage. I appreciate it. I'll let you know if I cry, Uncle. Alright, so we came in from there. No, 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 we came in further down the path. Man, there's a lot of... A lot of ways we can go down here that the game won't let us. Again, I'm actually kind of impressed by this, because, yeah, we're revisiting areas with different characters in different situations, and you're reusing some of that, but it also conveys... The, it, it, these, also, these areas are also big enough that they can feel like you're going to different areas, even if it's just, even if it's just unlocking different parts of the map. And it's conceivable that you can kind of get turned around and such, and so it's kind of important for the game to keep you on track. And no, oh, we got you again. No, I'm just going to wait out here. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. This was quick, but I noticed that sh she moved relative to my position. Like here. You can kind of see that she's hooked to the character. Yeah, see, she's moving to keep up with us. That's sneaky. That's that is something the other ghosts were not doing. All right. Come on. That's it. It almost seems like there's not much point to moving around. Oh! Oh, I think she despawned. <laughs> oh, okay. We're probably going to run into her again in here. Yep. Oh no! Oh boy. Okay, no, you are a different beast altogether. No running from this one. No, we need some. Oh shit! Now. He does it. Fell. I think I dodged just in time. <laughs> I 
Alright, you're, you're gonna give me some of that health back. Like that one? I got another one ready. Come on. Oh yeah, just about topped off on that. What's she doing? Come on, I'm at a nice big photo finish, eh? Ah, damn it. Ah, shit. Oh, boy. Yeah, she did the thing. Ah, okay. I got a bit cocky there. That's a very narrow time frame for that. Ah, shit. Well... Of course, I drain the health from her and she takes it back. I suppose that's only fair. Yep. I'm so used to start being the menu. Do a little herbal here. Alright, well. That went swimmingly. Ha <laughs> ha! Swimming, water. Yeah, you know what I'm doing. Now, uh, what's in here? Door shut tight, won't open. Alright, into the. Oh, no, door's being held shut. Oh, well, okay. Oh, did I get... Okay, did I get turned around, or did the game pull a door switcheroo? Okay, no, that's the outer gate thing. All right. I think I just got turned around. My bad. I was going to say, did that thing where the geography changes behind your back. But it could just be I'm just not a very observant. It would hardly be without precedent. Oh, shit. I don't know what that was about. Also, I should probably spend a member. There you go, Yuri. Dry out. Alright, me and went that way. Good, good. I mean, you know, it's not a good thing that she went here, but it's good that we can follow her. but it looks like a huge box. The lid has been made into a door. There's a large keyhole in it. What could be inside? I guess the only way to find out is to get the key and go in. I mean, you could just open the door and take a look inside. You don't have to, like, go inside yourself. Okay, large Buddha statue stands behind the fence. Corridors would be a perfect place for an ambush. Gotcha. Can't go there. Alright, well, all that for a uh, herbal.
Oh, nope. Ghosts are making me go in the plot direction. They're very on task, these ghosts. They very much don't like... They very much do not like characters that digress a lot. We would not get along very well. not go down there just yet. Easy does it. Oh, that looks nasty, whatever it is. Okay, old woman at the door. That is for sure a ghost we're gonna have to fight. And she's gonna have, like, a mask on and just get up in your face and go, Call it a hutch. Okay, door's locked, the lily flowers engraved in the lock. Of course. Yeah, the tram station is perfectly fine, all you gotta do is throw a switch. An old house, there, that's where you gotta find the key. Well, shrine. Shrine Maiden in a room. Hmm. Okay. Oop. I see a bridge. What looks like a bridge at the bottom of the stairs. Maybe there's some way around. Uh huh. I'll admit this beats the doll shrine by a wide margin, but this isn't exactly a cakewalk either. Just the combination of the level design, the constant, like, extra ghosts we're seeing, and the audio is just making me feel like I'm going to be jumped around every corner. Again, top-notch audio design, these games. It's one of the reasons they hold up so well. Going pretty far into this. Okay. I feel like... forward. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, I got cocky. And again, it was the gold arm. I gotta check the footage more carefully. I feel like there's some difference between them, but when I looked this up, they didn't say anything. My impression is either they do more damage or they're harder to shake off, or, or maybe they just strike quicker. an old text on the floor by the altar. It appears to be about the immortal flower. Those who are to be pillars are placed in the reliquaries filled with black water. The maiden lay lays within the black water. This is not death, but an eternal sleep. She shall not age, but stay as she was, an immortal flower. Sleeping in the black water brings dreams of death, endlessly repeating. When the maiden can stand no more, her body dissolves, and her role as a pillar is ended. Only the strongest maidens become an immortal flower. Via this eternal suffering, we become we become eternal. Such is our role in appeasing the Shadow Spring. Aha! Uh -huh. Starting to get a sense for what's really going on here. So all this ritual, all these ghost sub-story things are all centered around one big ghost thing that's happening. That's the technical term for it. There's a space in the middle of the altar as if something should be placed there. Alright, so this is a... puzzly thing. We will need an item. Mm. 
All right. Oh, hi. Shrine Maiden in a room. Different Shrine Maiden. Hmm. Uh, hi. I don't mean to interrupt anything, Miss Shrine Maiden Ghost. Just, I'm here to solve puzzles. Let's just, let's please part in peace here. And I don't mean the peace of death. I mean, I want to leave here alive. I can make out the word glance. Okay. A Shrine Maiden's glance allows her to see the hearts of those returning to the water. The maidens take their pain, their sins, and all their secrets to ease their passing. Maidens whose hearts are full are made into pillars. Those secrets are taken on by shrine maid those secrets taken on by shrine maidens are sealed in the reliquaries with them, that they might never find their way back outside. Hmm. Okay, so right. Oh boy. Glance into the souls of- oh boy. What are you doing? Why are you- Are you blind? Oh, I think she is. Oh shit, we have a blind demon here. Yeah, I think she is blind, Jesus. Get some of that health back. Damn it. No, you're not done yet. Oh, no, you are. I didn't see the kill shot thing. Okay, yeah, getting the sense that this is a thing where. They were training some kind of sixth sense at the expense of their regular vision. Quite possibly. Maybe that was just some AI screw-up. But yeah, it looked like she was kind of swinging wildly at the air. And had trouble zeroing in on me unless I was moving around. I mean, they've had one enemy like that in most of the games. Or famously the blind demon in the first game. And the second one had those monks... I think their thing was they had served underground for so long that their eyes had atrophied and just didn't work. Alright, so this brings us back to the main room, I think. Uh, Hall of Lanterns. Okay, it's the main entrance. Got it. So yeah, downstairs is the... Right. Yeah, it's, it's that's there. Okay. Alright. So, where else can we go now? I guess we gotta go downstairs. <sighs> Back into the water. Sorry to ruin your dress, Yuri, but I had a feeling this is inevitable. It's alright. You're a magical girl working with the Yeet Squad. We'll pay enough that you can afford another one. Alright. Now, I note that the gauge isn't going up just from contact with the water, like we saw with Ren. I think it's more... Hmm. Oop. 
there must be something else to it. Or maybe, oh, I think it's the flower slowly blooms as you go in. And then it's, yeah. Alright. Seems to be about Matakami strictures. Oh, I'm sure the paper that's just in the water is completely readable. The Shadow Spring, source of the black water. To contain the Shadow Spring, to prevent the black water from bursting forth, Mount Hikami must be bolstered, bolstered with reliquaries. Okay, yeah, so it's all to hold back this Shadow Spring. Maidens cross from the Shrine of the Ephemeral to the Shrine on the Water on the Boat of Passage to become the Great Pillars. Caskets are used so as not to taint the mountain's soil. Reliquaries are used to protect the purity of the water. The waters of Mount Hikami are the source of the soul. The pure water must be protected, the black water must not be allowed to overflow. A small boat floats in the courtyard. The water extends all the way in the courtyard. You can probably get out of the boat from here. I mean, you could, but that seems like a not great idea. Although, considering everything else we're doing, it's probably not the worst idea in the world. Uh, anything under here? No. I'll take a break in just a few minutes. Locked. What was that? Uh, camellia flower. Oh, I know. I played. I played Wrath of the Righteous. Camellia is not to be trusted. All right. An old text left behind the beneath the lattice window. I can make out the word "shadow touched." Touch not the black water. Well, obviously, to immerse in such darkness is to melt the melt and rot away. Only those who wish for death can endure such agony. We shadow-touched are all bound for death. We shall carry the reliquaries and submerge them in the black water until we too have rotted away. The black water must not be allowed to overflow. Okay, so that must be the dudes that were carrying the boxes on their back. So yeah, they prepare the shrine maidens for this ritual. This sacrifice. Stuff them in a box, then they're carried to the water where they drown, and because of their training, it supposedly, they become a pillar, and it holds back the Shadow Spring somehow. Obviously, something has gone awry. Or possibly it was... Oh, hold on a second. Is there something there? Damn it. Oh, there it is. Hang on a second. But yeah, as is, as is the pattern with these, usually all the horrific sacrifices are done in, ostensibly in the name of the greater good to hold back a greater evil. But eventually the evil nature of the sacrifices themselves comes back to bite them in the ass. And everything just, uh, all hell breaks loose. Anyway... We'll park at the boat, we'll take a break, I'll get some exercise in. Oh, man. Yeah, a lot of questions where this is going. Very curious to see, because, yeah, we're looking for Miyu Hinasaki now, and presumably we'll find Miku Hinasaki at some point. But, yeah, I'm wondering what they're going to do with that subplot, and how this all kind of ties together. Anyway, uh, exercise. Let's get some crunches in. Okay, so, yeah, we're about to get on a boat in the middle of Hellwater. Yep, thanks, Kirby. A small boat floats in the courtyard. Uh, or not. Okay, no, I guess we're not getting in the <laughs> Okay, sure. Well, I guess we should be grateful. Although, almost certainly, it means we're just going to go somewhere else that's horrifying. Alright, well... There was another stairway down over here. What 
Where's that again? Yes, here. Oh, hell. You back the fuck off. Go ahead, make take a dive. I'll take that, thank you. Okay, yes, yeah, so their health does kind of gradually regenerate. If you're not doing any damage to them. So it behooves you to keep the pressure on. Down you go! Give me that touch! Hey, hey! You get back in game space where I can put my hand in you. Here we go. I'm just gonna jam my hand to the wall here. Oh, hey, we're getting cutscene this time. Okay, so those five were killing themselves just like the students were. <laughs> Everything about this game is wrong, really. Okay, so... They committed suicide, they went into the water, were consumed by the Shadow Spring. Uh, then what is the box sacrifice? Is that something else entirely? It must be. I, I think it's they face the Shadow Spring, and those that survive get chosen for the reliquaries. I don't know. A lot of sacrifice. A lot of sacrifice. A lot of sacrificial rituals to keep tra track of in this game. Alright. Okay, I think this goes to the other side of that lake. Or no, it's just. Yeah, no, it does. Yeah, careful. Oh, shit. Oh, man. How did I dodge that? I don't know, but I'm not going to dodge the next one. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I was halfway between saying Jesus and shit there. Yeah, boy, I sure hope none of these maids we put in the, the box of the evil water get distracted from the spiritual purity of my love or anything. Yeah, no kidding. It's not like there's some precedent in the games of these things going horribly wrong when the people we raise to be sacrifices learn to develop those pesky feelings. Just be a good little employee and get in the box. Ah, damn. Okay. We're getting wrecked here. Damn it! Okay, yeah, we need to heal up. Okay, so we are... So the gauge is filling and it's just from attacks. All right. Yeah, let's herbal up. That's a good hit. Alright, next one should do it. Oh 
Oh yeah! What did Frankenstein say to the doctor helping him put his leg back on? Sony! Ha <laughs> ha! There's no escape. See, it's your soul, and now... Oh, so the Maiden Slayer is running. Is this before or after he went nuts and killed them all? So many questions. Actually, is there... Okay, there's a list of ghosts you have photographed. Traces. Spectres. Completion. Hmm. I was wondering if there was like a flowchart, like in the original game. Where it had different groups, like the uh, researchers that went to the house. The folklorists that... Uh, the folklorists that lived there, and then the original inhabitants. Their relations to each other and such. It would be a bit handy to keep track of this. Oh boy, okay, yep. Yeah. The fuck was that? During. He slashed her eyes, but hasn't killed her yet. Okay. Cascade's been laid out on the floor. Interesting. Something like a, something shaped like a person lies inside the casket. Uh, yeah. I think we can assume that is in fact or was in fact the person. Since some old papers are writing them, a lot of paper just surviving the water here. Seem to be about something being tainted. The black water must not be allowed to overflow. The black water is the nether world itself. Should the pure water ever be tainted by the black water, a calamity should a shall surely occur. The world of the living shall become the netherworld. The souls of man shall rot, and those who would return to water shall become the dead. The black water must not be allowed to overflow. Yeah, yeah, like he... The story goes is that he... He grew to like some shrine maiden... She stuck to her duties and couldn't, you know, develop... It, it couldn't reciprocate his feelings, probably because she knew she was going to be sacrificed. He went nuts, then started killing them all. So now he was running from one in particular at some point during his rampage. Yeah, a lot going on here. Uh, anything this way... Right, now that's the way back up. We gotta go this way. Oh, there's two ways up. Hmm. Uh, no, I think we need to take the other way. There we go, okay. Oh, are we where she was in the intro? Oh, boy. Okay, yeah. Okay, also, I was mistaken, so we did... Our gauge did go down. We didn't have to use embers to reduce the water gauge. Just kind of naturally drained away. Well, I'm learning stuff. But yeah, I, I think we are in the shrine where we had the tutorial with Miu very briefly. Yeah, because this is the hallway that she ran through with the Buddhas in the cave. Or the Buddha statue in the cave. One open, being held shut by a powerful force. A force called Scripting. There wasn't another door there, was there? There was. Okay, so I'm not completely going senile. Right, 
Alright, so now we're on the... I think this is where the boat might have gone to? No, this is somewhere else. Hmm. Okay... No, this is where the boat was going to. Okay. Fascinating. Open. Ah, every door is being locked by ghosts here. Ah, nothing else here. Nice view, though. There's a lot to be said for developing a distinct style to it. And it's not like this is some special art style in terms of the character modeling or environmental modeling. But just the atmosphere and mood it creates through the settings and the characters and the way you combat the ghosts and the their obvious otherworldly qualities while you fight them. There's a lot of this game that holds up very, very well over the years. The series, I should say. Yeah, this... I, I think this was the room she started out in. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Purification Shrine. This is gonna get bad, kids. Yeah. Sorry to ruin your skirt, Yuri. Oh, fuck. Is there more? Yeah, there's two of them. Fuck. Okay, we need some shotgun film. No, no, no touchy. This is my no no square. Back off. <laughs> Your faith in me is admirable, eyes. There we go. Ah, damn it. Second too late there. Ah! Alright, so I can't even run on this. Not really. I think we gotta be careful because they've got some kind of ranged thing that can hit me. Not necessarily a ranged attack, but a move that can damage me from a distance. Oh shit. Yeah. Hey! Nice dodge there, Yuri. Might be mistaken on the range thing. Yeah. Sorry, didn't mean to take a picture of your chest there. Kinda in the way. Didn't realize I was barging into a wet kimono contest. Hey, one down. Actually, wait. Switch the pistol ammo here. What? I thought you were dead. Like dead er. One of you must be. There they go. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Oh, forward through this door then. Tracking those things in the water is difficult. Okay, I think I'm going the right way. Yeah. Yeah, we're in the new part of the shrine.
is now unlocked. Oh, okay. Now we're back under... We're, we are below the entrance area we came in. So, did we get anything from that? I'm not sure we did. I think we need to go back and try the end of the hallway there. Yeah, because I think that's where Miyu escaped from. Then she ran down the hall and there was like the box waiting for her. Yeah, 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 because she ran, she ran from a whole bunch of those ghosts. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's the reliquary. We are so going to fight a boss in here. Or at least a mini-boss. And is there anything in the corners? Doesn't look like it. Let's load up. An ornate black box. It looks slightly different from the one Haruka was trapped in. It's shut. Could Miu be inside? The camera's reacting to something. Oh. Has she been, there, been in there the whole time? Oh, right, we gotta adjust. There we go. Huh. There's something in the picture. There's light pouring down from the ceiling. There seems to be another floor above this one. The shaft in the ceiling leads up to there. Okay, so we gotta get light down on this thing. Huh. Oh boy, I think I... I think I'm starting to see that puzzle you mentioned, Mirage. A, there's going to be something involving reflecting a beam of light down into the tunnel, I think. It didn't look like that roof opened up in any way. I could be mistaken, that's kind of where my gut's going. Anyway... Presumably since we did this, something will open... Yeah, it's a picture matching. Oh, it's a picture matching like we did before. One of the pictures is really vague. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. I was thinking too much about it. I was overthinking it, as usual. But thanks for clarifying. I probably would have missed it. Okay, so... All right. So, yeah. We got to go upstairs now. So, back this way. Yeah, I think we need to... Yeah, we need to do something in this here. The room above it. Oh, fuck me! Okay, that dude... There's no preamble. That dude just popped in right in front of me. That hostile? Yep. Oh, it's the Maiden Slayer, I think. No, it's some dude. This looks new. Oh yeah, we got us a priest. Oh shit, okay, this one's got range attacks. Open the door and barge in on his Mongolian throat singing. Of course he's angry. Yeah, well, this is why we put signs on the door so you know you're getting in your... You're getting practice for your ritual sacrifice. Okay, you dead? No, you're not. I'll take some of that back.
Oh, check it out. He planted it there. Hey! Fatal frame kill. Nice. Good shooting, Yuri. Okay, come on. Give me that glance. Nope. How are you not dead? Oh, there we go. I think his AI... I think he cycled through his animation in a weird way. Just that prevented his death animation from playing out. Anyway. There's some kind of hatch beneath the altar. Can't get it to open. Camera's reacting to the altar. Aha! Oh. Mm. The casket room. I remember that. Alright. There's another one. Oh, that's the boat. Oh, we got three of them. And that's in the hallway. Oh, yeah. This is going to get this is going to get mean. Of course, we have to match all three photos. <laughs> you didn't think we were going to get through this quest. You didn't think we were going to get through this game without a fetch quest, were you? I mean, not technically a fetch quest, but it's that in spirit. Okay, so I believe one of them we can take from up here. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait, I'm sorry. I was thinking of the wrong uh, room. No, we need to go downstairs. Casket room was in the water. Here we go. Hey, how's it going? I so got points for that. Oh, hey. Okay, so we're specifically photographing the Shrine Maidens. And they're only visible when you stand in specific locations. Of course we got a fucking fighter now. Damn it, I don't have enough energy. Back way the hell off. What? Oh, fuck you! Oh, of course there'd be two of them. Damn it. Fuck out of here with this. Damn it. Okay, we need to heal. Okay. Smoke some herbal. We gotta get back in the game here. Shit. Oh, this is bad. Damn it. Cornered. De Dodge there. Damn, there is no place to maneuver in this room. Okay, here we go. There. All right. Yeah, apparently they also go to their grave in pairs, or the uh, casket room, or wherever, the, wherever this is. Okay, here we go. Now we're loaded up for some business. Oh, I got one. Hit one with it. The other one got me. Ay, 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 ay. Let go. Ah, shit. Water gauge is going up. This ain't good. Gosh, fuck it. Put the camera down. Heal. This is just this is just a bad place to try and fight them. Now my water gauge is at max, and then we got real problems. Ah! I'm cornered again. Shit. Okay, you know what? We need shotgun film for this. All right, one's almost dead. All right, one down. Oh, no, you don't. Fuck off. What? Oh, 
missed the touch opportunity. Oof. Okay. So, lesson learned. Once we do that, expect trouble. 